this video, we're going to figure out how to solve problem 16 of the pro Project Euler uh, set of questions. And this is called the power digit sum. Yeah, it gives us an example. It says 2 to the 15th power equals 32,768. And the sum of each one of those digits is 3 plus 2 plus 7 plus 6 plus 8, which equals 26. So it asks us to figure out the sum of the digits of 2 to the power of 1,000. Uh, now, this would be something that usually, like say if I was building this in Java or C, this could take a very long time to build. But I want to show you how we can actually do this on one line by using some functional programming techniques. So I'm going to print out what the result of this is, and let's take it step by step. We first need to figure out what the total of 2 to the thousandth power is. So I'm going to say 2 and then exponent 1000. So that would return what that number is. Now we don't really, at the end of the day, we don't really care how we got there. All we care about what that's equal to. And we don't even really care about it at the moment as an integer because what we need is these values. So we need each of these to be separated out. So the best way of doing that, or at least the way I think is the best way of doing it, is to convert what that total number is to a string. So let's see what this would do for us. So let's do Ruby, Project Euler 16, and you can see this is a gigantic number. So uh, the, this is what all the digits are uh, that make up the, uh, the answer for 2 to the thousandth. So what we need to do essentially is say 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. And add them all the way up to get our total. So there's a few different ways we can do that, but we first need, now that we have this and it's converted into a string, we need to convert this into an array. So let's say uh, we're going to pass a split method to it, which is going to, going to convert each one of those elements into its own array element. So since we're taking this step by step, let's run this again. And you can see now each one of these is a string element inside of the array. So we're getting there. We're making good progress. The next thing to do, because we can't really add up those strings as values, we need to turn these back into integers. So to keep this all on one line, we're going to pass the map method to it and then pass a block with the method of 2i, which all this means is each one of the elements is going to be mapped to the two integer call. And so it's going to convert each one of these, as we can see right here. And look at that. Now we have each one of these elements and the digits are turned back into a integer. And the last thing we need to do is simply to run the inject method onto it and then pass it uh, pass the uh, plus sign or the plus method, which is going to inject it and give us a sum. So let's run this. And there you go. The correct answer for 16 is 1,366. So great job. We're able to solve a very challenging problem with a single line of Ruby code.